Number 1. In this question, you will be asked to give your opinion about a familiar topic. After you hear the question, you will have 15 seconds to prepare your response and 45 seconds to speak. Do you agree or disagree with the following statement? It is important to learn about other cultures. Use details and examples to explain your opinion. Begin to prepare your response after the beep. Begin speaking after the beep. Number 2. In this question, you will read a short passage about a campus situation and then listen to a talk on the same topic. You will then answer a question using information from both the reading passage and the talk. After the question, you will have 30 seconds to prepare your response and 60 seconds to speak. City University's choir is changing its performance schedule next year. Read an article about it in the student newspaper. You will have 50 seconds to read the article. Begin reading now. Now, listen to two students discussing the article. Jim, you're in the choir, right? What do you think about what they're doing next year, this article? I really like it. Yeah? Yeah. The new director's right that it will motivate us. How's that? Well, some of the other schools are really good, so we'll really have to work hard to go up against them. Yeah. I mean, right now we don't rehearse more than once a week, but if we know we'd be competing with other schools, we probably rehearse more often and improve our singing a lot. That's true. Uh, the more you practice, the better you get. So, um, what about what the article said about how this will help the program? I hope it works. Right now, our program is pretty small, but we have some really talented people, and it would be great to attract even more people. So, how will this plan help? Well, if we go to these off-campus events and other people hear us and think we're really good, we might be able to get some new students interested in coming to this university to be a part of our music program and perform in our choir concerts. You're right. I hadn't really thought about that. The man expresses his opinion about the change described in the article. Briefly summarize the change, then state his opinion about the change and explain the reasons he gives for holding that opinion. Begin to prepare your response after the beep.
Begin speaking after the beep. Number three. In this question, you will read a short passage on an academic subject, and then listen to a talk on the same topic. You will then answer a question using information from both the reading passage and the talk. After the question, you will have thirty seconds to prepare your response and sixty seconds to speak. Read a passage about relict behaviors from a biology textbook. You will have fifty seconds to read the passage. Begin reading now. Now listen to part of a lecture in a biology class. Okay,、uh, so a good example of this, found right here in North America, is something an animal called the American pronghorn does. Pronghorns, as you may know, are a kind of deer-like animal. They live out on the open, grassy plains, somewhat in the middle of North America, and they are super fast. Pronghorns are, in fact, noted for being the fastest animal in the Western Hemisphere. Once a pronghorn starts running, zoom! None of its present-day predators, like the bobcat or coyote, can even hope to catch up with it. It's off in a flash. Okay, so why then do pronghorns run so fast? That's the question. Well, it turns out that quite a long time ago. I'm talking tens of thousands of years. Things on the grassy plains used to be very different for the pronghorns, because back then lions used to live on the plains, chasing and preying upon the pronghorns. And lions, of course, are a very swift-moving mammal, much faster than the bobcat or coyote or other predators that you find on the plains today. But now, however, lions are all extinct in North America. They're no longer a predator of the pronghorn. Tens of thousands of years ago, though, the lions were there chasing the pronghorns. So back then, the pronghorn's speed was critical to its survival. Using the example of the pronghorn and lion, explain the concept of a relict behavior. Begin to prepare your response after the beep.
Begin speaking after the beep. Number 4. In this question, you will listen to a short lecture. You will then be asked to summarize important information from the lecture. After you hear the question, you will have 20 seconds to prepare your response and say... Listen to part of a lecture in a business class. People who are likely to buy a company's product are called target customers. And these target customers influence a company's marketing strategy. In order to develop a marketing strategy, a company will look at certain characteristics of the target customers to decide when and where to advertise, so that they'll reach the target customers most effectively. I'd like to talk to you today about two characteristics of target customers that can influence marketing strategy, specifically age and geographic location of the target customers. Say a company makes toy cars. Who are its target customers? Kids, right? So if the company wants to make sure its television advertising reaches its target customers, it would want to advertise during times when kids are actually watching television, like during children's television shows. That way it can make sure that kids see the advertisements. And that way the company would get people in that age group to go buy toy cars or to ask their parents to buy them at least. Now, another important characteristic to consider is geographic location, places where the company's target customers live. Think about a company that makes boats. Its target customers are people who own homes near oceans or lakes, places where they can use boats. After all, people who don't live near water don't have much use for boats. So by placing advertisements on signs along the road or on television in cities and towns that are near oceans or lakes, the company would be more likely to reach the target customers for its boats and sell more of them as a result. Using points and examples from the lecture, explain how the characteristics of target customers influence marketing strategy for products. Begin to prepare your response after the beep. Begin speaking after the beep. 